Hey, how's it going? Welcome back to the channel. So, um, a little bit of a forward before I get into this puzzle. Um, I haven't posted in a couple of days, as you may have noticed, because we had a hurricane, Miss Helene, uh, come through here and wipe out power to a, a good chunk of the state I live in. Um, so, I've been without power for two days now, and now it's finally back up. Came up last night, thankfully, because it was getting quite hot in here. <laughs> The, this entire week's been a fun one. I mean, we, we we had no AC for the first, like, four or five days of it. Then we had AC for a day and a half or two days, and then the, the power gets cut because of the hurricane. And so, but now we're back, and you also may notice that I'm not wearing the same glasses I did I usually do because of this is what happened to my glasses last night. For some reason, they just snapped in half. That's going to be another fun one to get fixed. Anyway, we're back. We are back and we're making videos again so that you guys have something to watch and something to, to jump in to hopefully do some solves here. Anywho, enough of that. Let's get into this puzzle, which is called Lake Tahoe Ski Resort by Will Power. And um, let's just jump into our rules and get going. So there's not a lot of rules, as you can see. So we've got normal Sudoku rules apply. So every row, every column, and every 3x3 three three box contains stages 1 through 9. And we have arrows. So numbers on arrows sum to the number in the arrow circle. Numbers may repeat on arrows if other rules allow. So look at this one. These two digits, whatever they are, they add up to whatever this digit is. And that's it. Those are the rules. And you can see there's a lot of downhill motion, it seems like, uh, in some of the stuff. And probably a little bit of a ski lift bringing you back up. Uh, but anyway, uh, it looked like a fun puzzle, something to get back, you know, get the, uh, the juice is flowing again after a couple of days of, of not being able to do any of this stuff. So uh, let's jump into it and get this thing solved. Now, where is the best place to start? I think it's going to be following this whole slope as we will. Because we're, we have a, a situation here where whatever these two digits are, they must add up to this. But then this now has to add up to another digit to add up to this, and that has to add with this to another digit, and so on and so forth, all the way up to the top of the mountain. So our bare minimum here would be, let's say these are 1 and 2, so this would be a 3. Let's say we can just add a 1 each time. We keep getting up further and further until we get to the very top, and that seems to be exactly what needs to happen here. Because... Like I said, if these were 1, 2, or 1, 2 this way, because it wouldn't work here, but to equal a 3, we just keep adding 1, keep adding 1 as the bare minimum that comes in in these next shots, that we, that's where we get to, so at the very end. So I think what we can say is this is a 3, this is a 4, 5, 5, I can type 6, 7, I can't type 8, and 9. And then, like we said, this is going to have to be a 1, these are all going to have to be 1s to be able to continue that, and then this is going to have to be a 1, 2, so this has to be the 1, this has to be the 2. Now, can we continue that? Well, let's look at the 1s first. Let's kind of take the low-hanging fruit. This must be a 1. Do we have any other 1s we can place? Yeah, we must be able to. Uh, this is a 1. So all of our 1s are taken care of now. So the next step on this, it seems like this kind of grouping seems to be the best way to, to start. Because we already start with a 2, and we have to add at least another 2, because we can't have any more 1s. So that puts a 4 here as the bare minimum. That would put a 5 here as a bare minimum. This has to be at least another 2, which would get a 7 up to here. Now that doesn't actually get us to our min maxes. So we can actually add one onto each one of these, it seems, as a possibility. Now, what does that say? It means this is either two or three to get to whatever this is. We know this is a one, so it steps up by one. This can't be one, so it's again, it's either a two or a three, but it can't be a two. Okay, there we go. We just had to continue the thought process to get to it. So this has to be a three in this instance, because the lowest we could ever get to here is a five. If we were to do a two, two, four, four plus one equals five, and then we have to put a three here as the bare minimum. That gets us up to eight, and we can't go any higher than that. So this is three. This is eight. This has to be five. 
Therefore, this has to be a 2-4 situation. Good, this is all working out quite nicely. Now, let's look at this guy, I guess, in relation to what's left here. And this is a bare minimum of 3. This is going to be a bare minimum of 2. Minimum here is 6, so it has to be either 6 or 7. Now, I don't think we can ever get up to a 4. We can get up to a 4 here, actually. This could be 2 or 4. Now, could this ever be higher? It cannot go any higher than 3, I don't think, can it? No, it could be a 5 with the 2. So let's put that in. Oh, it can't be a 3 either. Okay, now we go. So this cannot be 1, 2, 3, or 4. So at the bare minimum, it's a 5. And therefore, this must be 2 because it's the bare minimum I can put in here and it gets us to the absolute maximum that we can have. So this is 5 and 2. And this is 7. Now we'll probably have some 2s uh, we can work through here now. Let's put 4 and 6 in here just to see if anything does, and it does match up, so 6 and 4. Now we've got quite a bit going on our screen, and that was not too difficult to get started to, which I'm liking because I kind of wanted a, a, a fairly relaxed puzzle to do today, uh, just to get things back up and running, and hopefully as I say that I don't get stuck here somewhere along the line. Uh, so let's look at our base Sudoku again, see if we can figure out anything else that's going to be a given here. We didn't get, we can get a three here. These two digits must be what? Five and eight, it seems. What about these four digits? We need, we need six, seven, eight, and nine, and this can't have an eight in it. And we don't have anything crossing, so that's not too useful for us there. What about these two guys? Is there anything we can rule out because of that 5-8 over there? Probably not, because they're up here. That's kind of, yeah. That doesn't make any use here. We do know we have to have a 4 down here, but again, not too useful. So let's look, out, look elsewhere. Can we continue our little bunny slopes, or whatever these guys happen to be, and maybe go into our ski lift here? So the bare minimum that this guy can be now is 2 and 3, because we've got 1s obviously looking at it. So this is the bare minimum of 5, but it can't be 5 because of the 5 right there. Therefore, it's a bare minimum of 6, and it's going to have to be a 6. There we go, because we can look back at our, our row here and say that if this can't be 1, 2 and... Well, obviously, it can't be 1. If these, the bare minimum of these are 2 and 3, which makes 5, and this can't be 5, and therefore 6, and 7, 8, and obviously this can't be a 9. So this is 6. So it's going to have to be a 2-4 pair, because we can't do a 1-5 pair. We've got a 4 here, so let's put the 2 and the 4 in. And we should be moving along. Now this 6 has to at least have a 2 with it, and it has to, because we can't have a 3 on it. 3 would be the only other digit we could put on here, so this has to be a 2, and therefore this has to equal to 8. Good, we've got our ski lift taken care of. Is there anything we can do to finalize maybe this column here? What do we need? We need a 5 and a 9. The answer to that is no. And I'm not sure we're going to get much more in here, but let's take a quick look at it anyway. We need a 3, which can go anywhere. We need a 5, which can go in a couple places. Oh, this has to be a 6, just by Sudoku. If we looked at that, that would be easy. Now we can do that 5, because the 5 can't go here. So we're Force now to put a 3 and a 9 here. Let's put those in. That's going to give us this digit, which has to be a 4. Now, we're going to know what this digit is just by basic Sudoku. It is the 9, and I'm hoping that's going to start helping us down with these guys. Well, let's just mark these guys up for a second. The first, we got 3, 5, and 7. This can't be 5, but that's all we get. Okay. So. Now maybe we should start looking either at one of these uh, groupings. Let's start here because it seems like we have a little bit of more information of things that are staring at this. So this could either be a 7. Actually, it can only be a 7. Now you look at it. Because we obviously can't have 9, 8, 6, or 5. 
So seven would be the highest we can do. The next down would be four, but we, the only way to make four and two would be a one, three, and clearly we can't do a one, three. So this has to be seven. I'll just pop that mark off for a second. Now, how do we make a seven? We can't do six, one, and we can't do five, two, because they're all staring here. So this has to be a four, three, and there's a four and a three looking at it. So we can just jump into those three and four, and that's gonna give us a five up here. So we can get rid of a bunch of that stuff. Now we're gonna know what these two digits must be. And we're probably gonna know what this has to be because these have to be from, yeah, two and six. So this is the six and this is the two. I was doing a quick check to see if uh, we've got anything over here, but I think I'll continue in this path for a while uh, because this is giving us more information. So now we have a six on our three cell. So these are already one, two, so this must be a three. And that's gonna give us our seven and our three. And what about these three? We have to get a two in here somewhere. It's got to go here. We've got to get an eight and a nine as well, and they can go anywhere. So that didn't do us too much good. What about these three? We need a five, eight, and nine. Again, that's not really doing too much. So maybe we need to... I'm going to just do this real quick because it's nagging me. Um, maybe we need to look at these guys to see what we can do. What is the min max of this? Well, it can't be one, two, three, four, five, or six. So it's either seven or nine, because we've also got an eight up here. Now, if it's seven, we can't do six, one, or five, two. So it would, and it can't do a four, three either. So we can't do 6, 1, obviously, because there's a 6 here. We can't do a 5, 2, because we have a 5 and a 2 staring at this, so we'd have nothing here. And the only other way to make 7 is a 4, 3, but we have a 4, 3 looking at it. So this can't be 7. It must be 9. So this is 3 and 9. Now, I'm not sure we're going to be able to get this, are we? Can't be 8, 1. Can't be 6, 3. It can't be 7, 2. We actually will get this one. That's kind of fun how that works. So it's going to have to be a 5, 4. And we have the 5 and the 4 looking at it. So let's put a 4 and our 5 in. Now let's look at this guy. He seems to be one of the last cogs here. Now clearly this can't be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, or 6. And it can't be 7 or 9. So it must be 8. And I, what did I do? I... I just mismarked somehow there. This was five and four. This was five. This was four. I don't know how I did that backwards, but same thing. <laughs> I knew there would be a mental mistake uh, after these last few days. Um, and it probably wasn't even mental. It was just uh, me clicking things incorrectly. Uh, again, let's look. this can't be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, or nine. So it is eight. And therefore, this is going to have to be a given, right? It can't be 7, 1, it can't be 5, 3, and it clearly can't be 4, 4. So it must be a 6, 2, and we have a 2 up here. So this is 6, this is 2. Not pressing the wrong buttons this time. And this has to be, well, let's look at these two first. They have to be from 3 and 7. So this is 3, this is 7. That's going to give us this digit, which is a 2. These two now have to have 8 and 9. We don't quite have either one of those yet. <clears throat> so, we can either check Sudoku or we can... Let's, let's do the clues first. I think the better way to go about it than trying to just do basic Sudoku. Uh, what can this guy be? Well, clearly it can't be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 7, or 8. So it's either 6 or 9. Can it ever be 6? The answer is going to be no, because if it's 6, it has to either be 5, 1, can't be, or 4, 2, it can't be. So this has to be a 9 as well. And then this guy is going to be a 5, 4, because it can't be so 8, 1, 7, 2, or 6, 3. And we've got a 5 here, so this is 4 and 5. I did it correctly that time. And... <clears throat> This guy has to be an 8 or a 9, doesn't help us. There has to be a 7, 8, and 9 down here. That doesn't seem to help us. So now let's, I think we're to the point, yeah, because we got a 5 here. Let's put the 8 and the 5. We're going to just get some Sudoku going, I think. Uh, what did we say we needed? We need 
7, 8, and 9. And now that doesn't do us much good, so we're going to have to check elsewhere. The, two, the ones we had already done pretty quickly. I think the 2s are now done. Yes, they are. How about the 3s? 3s are done. Good. Yeah, it seems like we just had to do a quick check on our Sudoku to get this thing solved. <clears throat> um, fives. What are they doing? This is the last five. Sixes. I'm sure will be done now. They are. Wait, make sure I didn't do that wrong. Yep, this is the last. It's not the last six. This is the last six. And now we should be pretty close to done. Sevens. <clears throat> This is a seven. Let's get the right thing up. This is a seven. This is now a given nine. This is a given nine. This is an eight. This one, well, let's just do the nine and the eight first. The eight here. This cannot be eight. Oh, this is a seven right here looking at us. So we can finish that one. Nine and seven. This one here has to be an eight, and it looks like this is going to be a seven, hopefully. It all works out. Uh, it says the doesn't have a oh it has a new link with solution. Let's click on that just to make sure. No, nope. it uh it said I was correct. <laughs> oh, it didn't say I was correct, but it said it look, looks good as far as I can tell. I didn't realize there was a new link with this thing. Um, but that looks to be correct. I thought it automatically filled it in when you went to the new link, but I guess it doesn't anymore. So that one was um went through quite simply. Um, but all the logic was quite nice to fun to follow. And like I said, I'm, I'm kind of glad for a, an easy one. You might call this one like a gas style puzzle. But it's generally approachable. But as always, by willpower, excellent puzzle. I enjoyed this one. I'm glad to be back <laughs> on uh, the channel and providing some content for y'all. I uh, hope you enjoyed this one. Um, links, descriptions, all that kind of stuff, obviously, from before. Like, comment, subscribe if you would choose to do so. And uh, I'll see you in the next one, which hopefully won't be any more than a day away. Thanks a lot. Have a good one.